guys, welcome back to Med Bros. In today's video, we will be reacting to uh, Hassan Minaj. So Hassan Minaj is a comedian slash kind of uses comedy to educate people, uh, kind of pushes for the brown community. I know some people actually got offended by that brown community term. I remember I said that once at UC Berkeley. Completely side story. Um, what should we call it? Yeah. I, I have no idea. You can't Indian people not really because it you know there's people Pakistan who people originated really in that one area on the map. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so in this video, he asked a bunch of Desi kids. That's the word I was looking for. Desi asked them about their experience on how it was growing up in America and the West, etc. So what we're gonna do is kind of look at it, see what these kids have to say, and see if some of that stuff was relevant when we were kids, and just do an overall reaction video. So. Let's get into it. Sorry. Why does he always have the same face first? He has the same face, same shape, same everything. <laughs> like, I can stop. You cannot distinguish a damn video of his. I know. With this guy's mug. <laughs> he looks like copy pasted you right on each picture. <laughs> All right, let's get started here. Hey guys, it's Hassan Minhaj. If you've seen the show, you know that Minhaj. I talk a lot about being Indian American Minhaj. and the know, Desi experience Minhaj. growing up in this country. But high school was a long time ago, so I wanted to talk to Desi kids growing up in America. Yeah, he has right. the same hand so motions. I got to oh, get we have a cousin that is very Desi <laughs> American similar. from the greater New Jersey and New York area, and then one kid who drove all the way from Missouri. Where are they from? Missouri. Missouri. You know, one guy from Missouri, some from like, yeah, East Coast. Greater New Jersey and New York right. area. Because yeah, I right off the bat, I already know it's going to be wildly different, but whether you're in California, East Coast, Midwest, there's a much bigger population of uh, any people kind of scattered around. Good yeah, I see people York. scattered around in certain areas. So yeah, experience okay. is going to be very different. Let's see. Real quick, say your full name and then say the way white people say it. Oh. So my name's Hassan Minhaj. I would get Hanson Minaja, I'd get Sahan Minha, I'd those get Sean. I get <laughs> they're bad. They're up there. Those, those are like some of those great My name is Jana Aja Duki. People say my name Jana Aira Duki. Okay, so oh. my name is Sahir Mir. People would call me Sahir Mur and then like Cher. My full name Cher. is Preshka Kalavar, and people pronounce it Preshka Kalamari. So far, none of these names are that bad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're hard names for that name Western. Like Alu out there. Oh, yeah. My full name is Pavan Dutta Kaluru, and all my friends at school, all my full-time teachers, they call me Pavan. Uh -huh. That's like my white name. Yeah, my name is Tejashree Vijay Kumar, but I go by Teji. Most people say Teji. I had a teacher that called me Tevi for half a year. Tevi? Tevi. Yeah. I I'll be honest, I've rolled with that too. Yeah. Like when people are like, Hassan, I'm like, fine. Okay, so my name is Yeah, Mary I think we called him Hassan just in the beginning. Is. What is his real name? People get it. He said Hassan! I thought he said that! <laughs> <laughs> I thought he just said his actual name there! Oh man, we're gonna be seeing it ignorant as hell. Oh, yeah, okay. whitewash. Let me ask you guys a question. What is the most stressful thing about going to school right now for you, personally? Is it just academic? Okay, I'm very interested to see what it was. Because when we were kids, uh, especially being in the sick community where a lot of guys have to wear turban, school is very anxiety inducing. Yeah, well, also the fact that people just can't seem to wrap their head around, the fact that I'm brown. Okay. There's no other brown people in my school. There's not that many Indians. We have like seven guys, two girls in my grade. That's, a, a, that's a lot. lot. I was like that's eating like yogurt or something at lunch, like and people had these chicken nuggets. Yeah. They're like trying to get it in my food. Did you ever think you're like, all right, what? I'm just gonna have one chicken nugget. When I was well, younger, bullshit. yeah, but not anymore. I'm like- Because I had the same thing with pepperoni. Yeah, like- Like, I was just like, God will understand. <laughs> <laughs> my friend would like, print out pictures of like cows, like, here you go. I'm like, why are you giving me this picture? Like, you worship cows, right? I'm like, shut up. Damn, oh, I no, have that a lot is so of that. true. That's I so true. I totally that forgot going. about that cow yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. One, on. there were some that, I mean, sometimes these kids got pretty creative and I had to laugh at some of them too. Mm -hmm. I remember one time, uh, Call of Duty 4 just came out, right? And everyone's like, bro, I was playing game? Call of Duty 4, man. I shot your uncle, I shot your uncle, man. I shot him in the leg. And he was like, it was just like, what the hell? There's so many, like, it was, it's probably much less now, uh, uh, you know, printing out cows, chicken nuggets, things like that. That's so stupid and unfortunate that it happens. But yeah, I don't man. know what it is with the obsession with cows that people have. Because I think there was like some coverage. I remember when it all started, it was like some coverage of like, uh, uh, where you would see some like Hindu worshippers, they would go and they would like actually drink cow urine and it was publicized on television and like people ran with that. And yeah, whatever it was, whatever it happened. It like generalized it, it for everywhere. all Indians. Yeah, yeah it was stupid. Yeah, unfortunately. But like this stuff is, is still super common when we were younger. Like it was all the time, mm -hmm. nonstop, every day at school. Something about your hairiness, something about your curriness, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. uh, cows, uh, terrorist jokes started after 9-11. Like it was bad. Um, 
So it's interesting to see. So, so it looks like some of this stuff is still alive today. If someone ever did that to me, I would have gone down to the cafeteria, I would have gone gotten a milk tray, just threw a smack it right at their face. <laughs> I respect. This is the one Indian kid that doesn't deal with any bullshit and he ends up getting expelled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you guys do when you hang out with your friends? I eat and go to the mall. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just yeah. eat food. You guys still go to the mall? I yeah. Don't. No. We'll go to like a group <laughs> yeah, or something. Or we'll go to one of their house, just like play PS4, play basketball. Do you guys play Fortnite? No. no. I, I, used to. I knew that kid. Yeah, of course. Were you were you were I knew when he was pulling out the slang. I was like, this kid's a Fortnite Jump. kid. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they got him doing it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Do you awesome. still dab? Wait, hold on. Oh. Right now, right now, these, they're trying to show what Indian kids are like. That's what the Indian uncle is like right there. Oh, yeah, Thumbs exactly. Up, up, up. <laughs> show me the dance. <laughs> that's oh, man. oh, that's great, man. That's a good one. Quick, this guy you guys are very clean shaven. Did you guys shave before you got here? Oh, my yes, God. Man. You shaved yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, I shaved yesterday. Your parents let you shave? My mom said it was like a sacred thing that I need to like stop to record me doing it for the first time. <laughs> your mom reported you shaving your mustache? How old were you when you- 15. <laughs> 15! <laughs> that is late. Okay, what? As okay. a brown individual, bruh, I was a professional at shaving by the age of like 10 Five. or 11. Yeah, I was just- <laughs> whoosh, 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 Cream up, boom, 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 boom. Already by the age of like 10 or 11, I was in like- Everyone starts off with that mustache, it looks so disgusting. Yeah, if you're uh, yeah. a young one, get rid of that mustache. Anyway. Yeah, if you're young out there and you're watching, you just don't, unless like that's religious like one of the first stuff thing, you're serious about. Yeah, it, no, right? because that's one of the first things to grow. Yeah, and you're just left with like a mustache. Yeah, I kept that for a little while and I was just like, I'm over it. I learned how to shave really fast. And if you want to go on a date, what do you do? Oh, you I'm don't. allowed to date. Are you crazy? We're all brown. Like, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. I just tell my mom. You were brown by your parents? I tell my mom. Do you I tell your mom? You tell your mom. I'm a hipster alert. Like, oh, you can have a boyfriend. You can do whatever you want. You can have fun. But like, just don't be too serious about it. Like, don't like fall in love with somebody or like get too deep into it. <laughs> That's the most. Look at everyone around the room is just in a shock and awe. Look at this girl right here. We're zooming on her. Unbelievable. Parents will be cool with interracial da dating. Yeah. My sister has yeah. a white boyfriend. Whoa. What's the white boyfriend? What's he like? like? He's, He's nice. just a regular <laughs> white boyfriend. No, it's not like. What are your parents? Oh, oh my. Parents? Yeah, I'm sure you're cool with it. Of course, we'd all be cool. With you. yeah. You'd be. So I'm my, not. Uh, you're not like. He's the parents, devil. He's, think, <laughs> He's the white devil, but it's okay. <laughs> I think my parents would be less okay, but he also has as like impressive credentials as my sister does. My sister goes to Yale Med. Yale Med, huh? Which is where I go. Who is this? 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 Who is Oh, cool. So, so that's why I mean by yeah, <laughs> awesome. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a match made in heaven. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, dating is still not cool. Not Look at this one. She's My like, mom, you I'm allowed to do whatever. <laughs> it's like everyone else is freaking freaking out, man. A beer doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, we're like, your parents say, oh, oh you can date in college, you have fun there. Yeah. We all know that's not true. What? What do you mean? What? Why not? If you're going to med school, how can you have fun with the relationship? <laughs> 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 this guy, I love this kid. What's going on, man? I forgot his name. This kid. Have you ever watched his match out? Do you keep it up anyway? Seriously. What did I apply for? I applied pre-med, and I was an idiot. Are you nervous? A little. What's the expectation? Are your parents like, IV or bust? Yeah. What do your parents want you to do with your life? Anything in the medical field? Watch the Medbros channel. We will Seriously, this is yeah, all these all kids, kids are into medicine. <laughs> you know where to go. Field, but Get started early. on the side, they said I could do something else, but I always have to have a backup plan. But why does everything, why do our dreams field? have to be on the side? I don't know. <laughs> This is another video that we're gonna do. No, I want to see. I want to see some of these kids, like uh, Hassan, whatever his name is. Yeah. I want his kid to be like, I want to be an NBA player. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See what Hassan go for actually it. says. I want to see. I want to see the balls on this. I, I know. I want to go for just it. Just go for it. Be an NBA player. <laughs> go for it. Be a little rock star. I want to see what Hassan actually says. That's bullshit. This is, I mean, to his kids. This is a topic that we're definitely gonna be cover. I notice a lot of kids these days are like really being pushed. I think Just Rain even did like a whole music video on this topic where like he feels like people are being pushed into like medicine, law, lawyers and things like that. And and there's like this really big pushback saying like, no, you should follow your dreams, you should do whatever you want. 
I think that we're going to do a video kind of to decipher what's going on with that, why kids shouldn't be pushed to a certain extent to do things, but also kids should understand that just because they're being pushed into something doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. I wouldn't trade medicine for anything. I think it was one of the greatest decisions ever. Yeah, and that's like, you weren't even pushed no, into like it. Like, for instance, if you're not into medicine, right. you still have to go for a career that makes sense. Right. right? right, right. If you're five foot three, yeah. there's literally zero chance of getting in the NBA. Right, right. And right. a kid isn't going to know that, but the parent is going to be like, uh, Brick, you got to reconsider. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if it's not medicine, at least pick something reasonable. Exactly. Um, but yeah, that's my point. No, but on top of that, like, uh, you don't have to resent it just because your parents are pushing you toward it. Again, we'll get into it. Stay tuned for that video. Let's say for a day, you could make your parents' expectations disappear. What would you do? Do drugs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would uh, I knew it. get a oh. boyfriend. You'd get a boyfriend. Go out with my friends. Okay. And then I'd probably, I don't know, <laughs> eat meat. Eat meat. Yeah. So basically, I just want to point out everything that she's restricted from doing, she wants to do. No, but she's a little kid, man. A lot of people who no, are No, but little... this is the prime example of going off of what I just was saying. Like, it's stuff that... This is what happens to a lot of Indian kids in general, Desi kids in general. They're so suppressed. And when they get even slightly free, man, you see a lot of shit go down in places like college where where your kids are, you know, regulated in elementary school and high school and then in college they're free and that right there that you see is exactly what happens when you get a suppressed kid. Point. It's go out there and everything she just said, including the drugs joke, sometimes it's not a joke when they actually end up to college and the restrictions and the chains are off and they just go ham and do everything. And I think that's specific in Desi kids. I don't know what it is. Maybe it is like being restricted and kept in all the time, but like, what are you restricting them from? From doing drugs and, you know, Things like that early on. Yeah, I, I think I don't really also get a it. sense that there's something greater on the other side for these Indians. Like these white kids are doing something mm -hmm. special mm -hmm. that I'm mm -hmm. like completely restricted from. Mm -hmm. When I'm leaving a shit life, when your life is perfectly fine, it's perfectly fine. There's nothing ex extra that anyone else is doing. There's nothing going on at the yeah, mall. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> you know, at the mall with the friend and the boyfriend. There's nothing going on that's extravagant that you're missing out on the life experience. Oh like, man, I don't know. Definitely something to keep in mind that you don't always need to run after something that, you know, seems like you don't have. Do you for real want a boyfriend? Um. Cause I'm just telling you this just as a boy. I want to it's see. It's a little overrated. I want to see what it's like. <laughs> like, <laughs> like guys are like. Little, like, don't. If that's your first wish out the gate, I would put meat up first. Yeah. <laughs> Then do I would put a lot of other things <laughs> up first, like maybe doing some crazy extreme sports, you know, uh, going on amazing cages, doing something amazing rather than the most boring list of all time. I'm trying to be a cool 2019 brown parent. Yeah. yeah. So what am I going to do? You guys tell no me. No beating. Yeah, no, no beating. Don't do that. Don't okay, no hitting. Just, no beating and no hitting is not the thing. That's another topic we need to do in the future. No beating. You want to cut very controversial opinion? Uh, Indian hitting yeah. is overrated. It's like, it's literally like a hanger, it's only light. It's like the lightest shit ever. Yeah, I mean, that's us though. I mean, like sure the I real damage it's... is like emotional trauma. So it's funny how yeah. emotional trauma is like, yeah, whatever you do, it's okay. Yeah. But the second you grab like literally a, so a jumpo, so a, sandal, a sandal, it's like, bro, I got hit with a sandal plenty. It's yeah, really yeah, that's not such a great deal. You tell me, my daughter's 16. She goes, Abu, this is my friend Cody. We're gonna go to the movies. He's my friend. We're just gonna hang out. Let her go. Yeah. Let her go. Put a camera For on real? her. For <laughs> real? Put a camera on her? What the? Oh, oh, she's just swinging off. What? <laughs> it's like, she just went from do everything independently. I want to do drugs. I want to do this. Put a camera on her. Oh man, what an invasion. What is going on? This girl's so confusing. Different language. Like, do you speak Indian? No. Yeah. Like, which Indian, really? There's so many languages. I was walking with two friends, and one of them asked me, like, oh, do you speak Indian? And then the other girl said, no, you idiot, she speaks Hindu. <laughs> 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 they like, compare you to every single brown person. Like they're like, are you related to Priyanka Chopra? <laughs> and they say their names like so all messed up. I'm like, I mean, just in general, there's such a lack of education about India and and all the different people that are there. And it's not just this one collective thing. It's actually insanely diverse, but at the same time, it's so you'd find it's one of the most amazing places in the world where you have all these people living next to each other uh, uh, peacefully. It's like the most diverse place in the world where you have people living peacefully together. It's actually remarkable that it exists, but I 100% agree that uh, you need a lot more education about it. And these are so passive with the way they do things, unfortunately. So it looks like growing up in this day and age is similar in some ways to when we were growing up, but I feel like back in the day, we had quite a lot of hostility 
quite a lot of teasing, quite a lot of isolation. Um, and luckily though, when we're in the area where we grew up, there was a lot of uh, brown people, a lot of Indian people, um, especially a Sikh community where we grew up in the Bay Area. So we were very lucky in that sense. Um, I don't know, how did you feel like there was really different from no, I felt like it was actually pretty similar. I feel like, again, I don't think a lot of people care about Indians too much. I think they're kind of just like unknown Another to most people. Group, yeah. um, but I feel like a lot of the experience were similar to cows and all that shit. Um, mm. No pun intended. Oh, all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching all these Indian children. If you would like to join the medicine army, <laughs> that sounded creepy. If you would like to join the medicine army, feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, keep you posted on new videos, or just go watch our old videos. You can learn a thing or two, or you can rewatch this video with a friend, share it, uh, and then go watch Core Beauty's video. I think we made a mukbang on there, uh, oh, eating a lot of uh, good pizza, some yes. Indian pizza. Um, that's about it. We'll see you in the next one and Merry Christmas. See ya.